case of, sorry, to open the case for her side of the house. Today, I will begin by defining the motion, this house would allow homosexuals to adopt. We are allowing homosexual couples to adopt children. And that is our policy. As, as long as the couples are financially and emotionally stable, they are capable of taking care of children, and they want kids, they should be able to adopt. We characterize homosexual couples as couples with different sexual orientation, but other than um, but are the same as the rest of society other than that factor. This, this policy is limited to homosexuals in countries that allow gay or lesbian marriages. I will be doing outside first argument on how homosexual couples meet the criteria for adoption of the child, while my second speaker will be talking about the second argument on homosexual couples' right to adopt. They have the right to adopt, and the state has to ensure that as it is the state's duty, and the purpose of the state is to protect homosexuals, which my second speaker will be elaborating about. Moving on to my substantive, I shall now, now justify the criteria. The criteria for homosexual couples to adopt is that they must be financially and emotionally stable. This is the criteria for homosexual couples to adopt a child, and it is also the criteria for the rest of the, uh, rest of the society for adopting a child. This is because if they want to have children they sh but cannot have them, they should have the right to adopt them since that is the solution. My second speaker will be elaborate, elaborating on this point as well. They are allowed to adopt a child because they are capable of taking care of a child. Being homosexual does not affect your ability to take care of a child. Opposition might say that a child that grows up in a family with homosexual parents... Madam! No, thank you, ma'am will affect the child's sexual orientation. However, it is, however, if that is the case, shouldn't dysfunctional families in the same situation, however, madam, no thank you, ma'am, like single parents, also be incapable of taking care of their child? No, but this is not the case. Their child is not being taken away from them. Therefore, homosexual couples should be able to adopt a child. Madam, Dis discrimination, no thank you, ma'am, Discrimination, opposition might bring up the point about discrimination and how society might reject this idea. However, society these days are op is open-minded and will tend, to, no, thank you, will tend to accept these as some countries have already started to accept and the government has allowed gay and lesbian marriages. The, the criteria one of the criteria is, fine, is being financially stable, therefore they need to take proper care of the child they adopted and they must have the financial ability to do so. They need to have the money to be able to provide for the child and ensure the welfare and education of the child. Therefore, they will be able to provide care for the child. And moving on to emotional stability, they need to have the ability to understand their child. They need to um, be able to communicate with their child. Madam. It, no, thank you, ma'am. It is not just um, taking care of the child, but also communicating with them. Therefore, Madam. they will need... No, thank you, ma'am. Will, they will need to be... Um, their emotional health will be ensured by having a panel of psychologists to check their emotional health to ensure that they are emotionally sound and stable before they will be able to have a child. Opposition might propose that it will be difficult for gay couples to take care of a female child as a female child might need to um, share her female problems with, and might be more comfortable with sharing her problems with, for example, a lady. However, there are also other sources um, which you can talk to like the school counsellor, teachers and her friends. Also, some people tend not to share with their parents. They will naturally go to their closer friends as they find it less awkward. Therefore, there is no reason for homosexual couples not to be able to adopt a child. For all these reasons, please go with side um, proposition. I'm sorry, I made a mistake with uh, the motion of the board. Sorry about that. Oh, what? It's uh, homosexual couples, right? Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. And uh, you guys are... Sorry. 
or in more extreme cases, against it. And we need to cater to these people. Because if we were to suddenly introduce such an approach, what happens is that these the originally neutral people might actually turn against it, and this might cause possible societal backlash, which in a first world democracy we cannot afford. This is something that we cannot allow our country to be susceptible to, and we must ensure that we ensure um, that we are protecting the rest of society. Okay. Also, we want to ensure that we don't have segregation within our society, whereby this will further cause um, a further difference between the homosexual community as well as the large majority. We need to ensure that we're protecting the homosexuals in this case and allowing them to gradually ease into this entire idea and be accepted by society. And on the second point, that on the family unit as a whole. If we actually were to zoom in on the impacts of the family unit, we need to understand that this namely consists of firstly, the parents, which is the homosexual couples, and also the child. So firstly, on the child, we need to understand that the child isn't even biologically related to their parents in this case. And considering the amount of discrimination and unease that our society still has today, do you honestly think that the child will live an easy life having to go to school while having to tell their parents, tell their other counterparts that they are different from them. This is something that we feel that the child shouldn't be exposed to. It's something that this child doesn't deserve. The level of bullying, the level of discrimination this child would well, receive in the long run is definitely not worthy of it because they are, at, at the end of the day, innocent players in this entire policies. And they are people that we need to consider when we're making these policies and whether or not we are protecting their best interests too. On the other hand, on parents, they've never actually came out to clarify to us what exactly they deem a family unit. So on the parent side, we need to understand that um, they might actually, they might also receive a lot of prejudice against the rest of society. But beyond that, they also have certain policies that go against this entire idea, such as how certain subsidies are only given to normal family units. As such, we have to really consider these people and think in their best interest. And as such, please walk with my side of the house. Speakers spoke for six minutes and eight seconds. has um, three main contentions with set opposition, uh, opposition today, right? So the first being on how, <coughs> on how um, gays are the same as the rest of society and whether side of, uh, opposition really does not discriminate against gays. And the third one on being whether on the social backlash that, will, um, that might result um, as a result of this motion, right? So my first here for today, right? Um, whether gays are the same as the um, rest of society, right? So um, I will be further, I will be dealing with this point in my substantive, but um, so, um, what we see, so what we see is that, right, um, um, they, they comment on our practicality, the feasibility of our policy, right? Whether uh, having a panel of, uh, whether we we'll have enough people uh, for the panel of psychologists, right? And what we see is that, right, people that not, uh, the, the rest of the society, right, they also have to go through this, um, same procedure, especially those um, parents who have um, who have gotten children, but uh, due to a miscarriage, lost their child, right? So we see that we also need to like ensure that they are emotionally sound, so as to better take care of the child. So um, because we see that they are dealt with um, emotional harms during the miscarriage, right? So we see therefore that that um, madam, no thank you, ma'am. So we see that gays, uh, whether um, homosexuals and uh, rest of society, right? We see that there's no real fundamental difference, especially when it comes to the feasibility of the policy, right? So the second tier, uh, so for my second condition, uh, with side opposition today, right? Whether side opposition really discriminates or really does or does not discriminate against the homosexuals, right? But what we see is that very clearly that side opposition today discriminates 
against the very uh, against the homosexuals, as you can see from from the first figure's description of normal family units. Therefore, Madam. no, thank you, ma'am. Therefore, showing that she does discriminate against homosexuals by describing them as abnormal people of society. They are not. No, thank you, ma'am. They are not the right.
would like to thank the second opposition speaker for her speech and will now call upon the second speaker of the opposition. And, and now moving, and we see that 
when Obama actually said that he supported gays, what happened is the drop, he, there was a drop in the amount of support he got in the recent elections. And we see that the, this, this further proves that society is not, open, uh, this is not open to this idea yet and they are not ready for this change. And now moving on to my second tier, that on how there is a strain in international relations. We see that, you know, there are, when this country is actually allow gay marriages, there's already a, they already put a little strain on this societal relations. But when they take the next step, when they allow gay couples to actually adopt children, what they'll be doing is they'll be taking it to a whole other level, a whole other level that will affect the societal relations with, with other countries. We see that there are conservative countries such as, such as Russia and China, and we see that you know when when these countries, what will happen is that these this decision will actually impact the different aspects of societal relations such as trade and tourism and so on. And, and we see that and we see that what this will do is actually it will put a strain on all that has been what what the countries have attempted to build over the years. The 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 relationships that they have built over the years would actually be strained and it might even crumble. And we see that this is not what should be the case. And besides there are several reasons but what we want to say is that the number of homosexuals in every country is a minority. The number of homosexuals in a country that decide to get married is an even smaller number. And the number of homosexuals that do get married, that do decide to get children. How, don't you think that that is a really, really small minority of society? And they say this will affect international relationship. Are you sure? Also, we would like to ask them, has abortion trained any international relationship? No, thank you. And now moving on to our second clash on policy. Opposition has said that they have accepted our criteria that homosexual parents need to be financially stable and emotionally stable before they are allowed to adopt children. Uh, we say we have told them that this criteria applies to the rest of society. The fact that they accepted this criteria means that opposition agrees that homosexuals are indeed like the rest of society, just that their sexual orientations are different. Point, no thank you, ma'am. And in that case, their case on discrimination will fall. The opposition also came up with question the practicality of our criteria. Well, we, we have told them time and time again, these homosexuals that do adopt children are a minority of society. Do you think the government will actually need to spend a large portion of manpower, a large portion of their budget, just to get psychologists to review the case by to review the cases to see whether on whether there really will be a social backlash resulting from this motion. Secondly, on the policy that we have set for this debate. And thirdly, on the role of the government and the state. So firstly, on the clash on social backlash. Well, opposition have come up to say that the motion will affect society as a whole because people simply cannot accept the idea of allowing homosexuals to adopt children. But we say that many things cannot be accepted. Many things in society are controversial. For example, abortion goes against the, the Islamic religion. How is the government supposed to cater to every single case to please everybody in society? It is just not possible. Also, we say that there will not, there will not be social backlash because we have already set this debate in countries that have legalized homosexual marriages. Does that not mean that the public have already accepted the possibility of homosexual marriages and they have seen the cases of homosexuals getting married? So why not push this further and allow homosexuals to adopt children? Where is the social backlash coming from? Secondly, on the point of discrimination, well, opposition can come up to say that there's discrimination against the children. Well, we say, are you sure there is discrimination? Because the root of the problem here is that there is discrimination against adopted children. It is the adoption that is the root Madam. of the problem. No, thank you. Other adopted ch children from the rest of society are also discriminated against. Why do you single out children adopted by homosexuals to pick on them? Why do you single out them and, and use them in this case? Also, opposition comes out to say that there's discrimination against the parents, the homosexual parents. And they say that there's a need to ease them in the society slowly before this motion can be passed. Well, we say they are contradicting themselves. They deny us saying that, that the world is becoming more and more open. And yet they say that it is possible to ease homosexuals into society. We are wondering why they are contradicting themselves. Madam. No, thank you. Also, they came up to talk, talk, tell us about the political, the strings in political ties, the strings in political relationships between countries. But what we want to say is that the number of homosexuals in every country is a minority. The number of homosexuals in a country that decide to get married is an even smaller number. And the number of homosexuals that do get married, that do decide to get children. How, don't you think that that is a really, really small minority of society? And they say this will affect international relationship. Are you sure? 
Also, we would like to ask them, has abortion strained any international relationships? Yeah. No, thank you. And now, moving on to our second clash on policy. Opposition has said that they have accepted our criteria that homosexual parents need to be financially stable and emotionally stable before they are allowed to adopt children. Uh, we say, we have told them that this criteria applies to the rest of society. The fact that they accepted this criteria means that opposition agrees that homosexuals are indeed like the rest of society, just that their sexual orientations are different. Oh, no thank you, ma'am. And in that case, their case on discrimination will fall. But opposition also came up with <coughs> questions the practicality of our criteria. What we, we have told them time and time again, these homosexuals that do adopt children are a minority of society. Do you think the government will actually need to spend a large portion of manpower, large portion of their budget, just to get psychologists to review the case by to review the cases to see whether children are uh, to see whether homosexual parents can really adopt children. It's just a minority of society. Why do you question the fact that the government does not have enough resources to come and help these parents? Also finally on our last clash on the role of the government and the state, opposition has come up to say time and time again that the government cannot push people to accept too much. They have allowed people to accept um, they have uh, already legalized gay marriages, therefore they shouldn't even go further to allow uh, people to go and accept uh, homosexuals that do adopt children. But what we want to say is that, will you let the government do what's popular or what's right? We want to see a world where it's gradually getting more open, where people can accept others despite differences, even if they are homosexuals. And yet the government, and yet they say that the government should do what's popular. Basically, not allowing uh, homosexuals to adopt children because that goes against the opinion of the masses. But what we say is, we sh the government should do what is right, and that is to that point, man. no thank you, man. And that is to move in the direction of making the country, making the world more open. And we do this by uh, by legalizing, uh, by allowing homosexuals to adopt children. Have a man. No thank you, man. And this will allow their country and their world to become more open. And also pushing people further is actually the only sufficient way to deal with the problem. The government needs to take the step to show the people that the government does accept homosexuals adopting children. This will also show the society that there is a need for the country to come over, there is a need to move in that direction. So the role of the government is not to do what's popular, it's to do what is good for the country and what is right. Madam. No, thank you, ma'am. So for all these points, please start with start Proposition. Thank you. Speakers for five minutes and two seconds. We would like to thank the third proposition speaker for her speech, and we now call to the floor the third speaker of the opposition. <laughs> Further welfare of people. And furthermore, there's actually 
started harping about how brilliant the emotional testing is, and they said that you can't know the Sorry. Um, they said that they actually um, the emotional testing is extremely effective because they. For example, they've actually been given us the example of couples with miscarriages and we question visibility and how it actually links to the motion itself. And we tell you this is not true, as because status, no thank you madam, is status quo. When you adopt a child, the normal couple, when he adopts a child, he or she adopts a child, we tell you that they are mentally certified. And we tell you they're actually discriminating themselves because the thing is they actually have a mentality that these people are particularly sensitive and they are particularly emotional and that's why they actually need an entire panel of psychologists to actually evaluate these people and we tell you that they are actually um, they are born against they are contradicting themselves and thus they are point false and they also tell us, told us that it's not a big problem as I've stated in my preamble and that this social backlash isn't a big issue at all and, we and this leads me on to my second area of clash that of the social backlash so basically, they told us that it's gonna, there's, no, no, there's not going to be any social backlash simply because it's actually contextualized to first to countries who um, legalize gay, gay marriages. And we say that actually, ladies and gentlemen, even if you live in a country, you live in a state where gay marriage is legalized, we tell you you're going to have there's still people who are who are against this idea, but they are just still living in there. We tell you, you cannot assume that everybody is going along with this mentality that it's completely fine to be gay. We tell you that there is societal opinion. And we tell you that time of group, let's be realistic here, and this, we give you examples. There are actually cases of shooting in America simply because this, simply because they are extremists and they actually hate gays. And we tell you that we do not want to sh subject these people to, oh, yeah. thank you, madam, to such brutalities. And we tell you that we want, we have the we have um, the state of the homosexuals at heart and we actually can't actually consider because we tell you that these people they are firmly linked in religion and thus the uh, uh, factors such as religion and we tell you that religion plays a big part in actually deciding the moral or okay. values of and matter they have and they actually may go to the extent of harming these people and furthermore they actually came up to the entire idea of how we are being quite elephants by not giving any actions However, we say that we have the best interest of society as a whole, including these homosexuals, and we are actually carefully evaluating, our, and our stance is carefully evaluating, and we want what's best for society. And they are, we tell you that they are not being completely rash by simply imposing this policy. policy. They have not even really given us any details on what time frame, because we tell you it's not going to work if you do it over a short period of time. It's not going to work if you simply they actually not given us any detail on the time frame. And we tell you that, that their policy is lacking details which are crucial in order to decide whether this policy is going to work out as well. And we tell you that this, their policy is on a superficial level because they have not actually considered the external impact. They have not actually considered what is truly at stake here. And furthermore, we tell you that society is not ready for this type of change. We give I've already given you the example of how they are shooting in America. And thus, we actually need a bottom-up approach in order to benefit our society. We need to do it by a level-by-level level basis, and we cannot simply um, implement it overnight. Now, moving on to my last area of clash, that on social, social segregation. So this, they came out to tell us about adoption of children <coughs> and the entire process. However, we say, and this is and we say that this is not the issue we're actually supposed to be deb debating about today. And we tell you that the process isn't what we're supposed to be arguing about today. But however, since they've all brought it up, I'll deal with it anyway. Because they say, we tell you that they say that there's going to be impact. There's going to be there's um there's no there's not going to be any discrimination against these people because these people are readily accepting. I've already proven in my previous points that this is not true. And furthermore, we tell you if that these people are they're actually being discriminated against. These children, they are put as they are subjected to this discrimination against other children. And we tell you, they're not everybody, not everybody is actually politically correct and they're, they're not going to keep their opinions to themselves. So why actually, why are we actually subjecting these people to such criticism? We tell you that we want to protect the children and thus when you actually leave, you allow them to be adopted by these couples, you're further, you're further subjecting them to even more embarrassment and more discrimination. And thus, because of what I'm proposing, saying, please work our side and this motion should perform. Thank you. Speaker spoke for 6 minutes and 13 seconds.